child, I never envisioned myself as a pilot. I was interested in machinery and aviation, and we'd see planes flying over and things like that, but I never knew anybody that actually flew for a living. Friends of mine and myself, we got started flying ultralights. Didn't have much money, did it for fun, never thought we'd do it for a living. I actually went to college to be a, a geologist, just kept flying, got the bug like everybody does. Went on to slowly get my private license, kind of nickel and dime my way through that. When I graduated from college, there were no jobs in geology. So I thought, well, maybe I'll try to do something with aviation and got my flight instructor certificate. Where I find myself today is at Neptune Aviation flying air tankers on forest fires. I'm a captain on the BAE 146. I started out as a co-pilot on the P2 Neptune. This is something a lot of people aspire to do is fly tankers and they say they'd like to do it, but it's a difficult job. It's a great job. It's a job for what I like to say is a true airman. If you really like to fly and want to fly, this is probably the best flying that there is. You're flying large aircraft. You're flying them on tactical missions, very challenging. Everything that you do here is different. We don't fly just from one airport to another airport. We fly on fires. Extremely challenging, extremely rewarding. It's rewarding that you're helping people. It's rewarding that you're saving property and lives. Flying an air tanker, what you're basically doing is you are flying an approach to landing with the go around and you're dispensing retardant when you do that go around. When you are close to the ground, that's when bad things can happen. We fly in extreme winds, extreme temperatures, turbulence, wind shear, all those things are a factor. Sometimes there's debris in the air, rocks, sticks. Our training helps us to recognize those hazards. Our training helps us to avoid those hazards. And if done properly, it's a perfectly safe profession. Whether you're a believer in global warming or not, the fires are getting more intense every year. I think that this business is going to be around for a long time. It's growing. There are more companies involved in this now than there was when I started. This is a profession I think that you're going to see continue to expand for the foreseeable future. It's fun to come to work every day. It's not like work. I think most of the guys that work here will tell you they enjoy their jobs immensely. What's difficult about flying tankers is the endless hours of sitting around when nothing's going on. So there's extreme periods of boredom followed by wildly intensive activity. But it's something that kind of gets in your blood and, and we all love the flying.